Good, Good morning, morning guys. guys. Welcome to today. Welcome to today's video. We are at the barn and we are headed someplace fun. I am excited to start doing really fun things with our horses. AKA a hint. Yeah, we are headed out. We're leaving our barn, you guys. We're leaving our barn because um, we want to do something fun. Guys, guess what? My dad finally bought me um, coffee. Mario, he bought us coffee. Uh, it is an ice cap. It has a little bit tiny bit of caffeine in it, kind of like a pop um, amount of caffeine. I don't like her to have caffeine, but let's see how it goes. Uh, all right. Oh, the first time he ever bought me one, he bought me a medium, and I could not drink it all. I only had that much left in it, but I got. Stuck. All right, chatty Kathy, let's get going here. All right, so we got our bumpers. Um, you guys go down and get the horses, yep. and I'll get everything ready. My bumper, which is broken. He doesn't really use any other holes. Okay, but give it to me, give it to me. For it to not be broken. Sam dropped us off. Um, girls have gone to get the horses. I'm getting things ready. Some of you guys have asked us, what the heck are those hats that your horses wear? Um, I know a lot of you guys use traveling a boot so that your horses don't get hurt on their legs. We're only traveling five minutes down the road and it's pretty safe in the trailer. I know anything can happen. Um, we're not gonna use them. Uh, but we do find these necessary. A lot of you guys said that you don't use these, but I've seen so many horses start to go up into a trailer and then jump up, kind of rear a little, like they don't want to go on and smack their head. This protects horses from smacking their head, going on and going off the trailer. And um, I find that, that I find them super, super useful. I find them more useful than the shipping boots. We are also taking this old green helmet because I brought along our GoPro. Uh, I sent the GoPro with the girls at camp and they just could not figure out how to get it together and work it. So I'm bringing the GoPro with us. So I'm bringing this old helmet. I'm gonna bring some treats for after our trail ride. Like, comment below, what do you guys bring when you go for a trail ride? There are no trails on this property that we can go to, so we have to drive there. We're driving, we're going outside of our barn. We're leaving the barn. Um, and I like that because we're going to a place not very far away that is filled with trails, but in a, it enables us to try different places all the time. And I really wanna make this a focus of this fall. I wanna go to different places, try different trails, um, and just have a really fun time exercising Stella because um, who wants to just walk around an arena for 30 minutes every day when you could be walking someplace new with new smells, um, new adventures, new fun? All 
Such a good girl. recuperating from some issues the vet recommended that we take her in trail rides and go up as many hills as possible because the more she walks and the more she exercises the sooner her hawks fuse and then the sooner she won't have any more pain and so we're just acting on the direction of our vet and I know a lot of you guys especially um, from different places disagree and think she should be rested but all I can do is do what he tells me um, what he thinks is in Stella's best interest. So, um, having said that, on with the video. Look at. Mm -hmm. See. Mm -hmm. Look at Horses in transit. Oh, Do you just her? Mom, see. Oh, nice. Happy. 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 She doesn't look like she was eating. Storm doesn't. Storm has not been eating. Oh. Oh, she's eating. <laughs> Stella eats. Storm's like, that's an old hay. Heck to the no. A heck to the no. You want this down? Or do you want to just tie them up? Uh, we want to tie them up. Without this down? Without that down. Oh, yeah. Eat it, Stella. Eat it. <laughs> He's trying to get the best. That's the sign of a hungry pony. So you tie it up here. Good girl. You loop it through here, and you just grab this, tuck it through, pull down, tuck through, pull down. It's the easier version. And if you just pull this one, we'll come undone. Okay. All right, let's get grooming. I know it's a little bit too much for sure. So cold, but we're always coming back for more. It goes in this wicked game, it's all for sure. Oh, I've got you. If we figured out what it's all about, it's a second and then we're back it up. Before we go, you ready to go? He's like, no, take me back in the trailer. Ew. <laughs> he always does that. He always spits it out. He swirls in his mouth and spits it out. Right. You ready? push the buttons to the core, or I've got you. If we figured out what it's all about, takes a second and then we back it up. Right, we learned last time we're gonna park Stella's nose behind Storm's butt, so Storm's gonna lead the way. Get up there. All right, we are 
off. I'm not in love with the fact that there's a hill right away. Don't pull on your mouth too hard, get so. It's Parker behind Storm's butt. the footing here but I think it must get better because this place would never would have been recommended to us if it was gonna be hard on our horses. On the run from my given disaster speed away from the holy mind pride that's where I never thought it would matter. Alright getting better now. Alright there we go out of the rocks and into the sand. Favorite song. Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on. But you got me good. You got me good. I keep on driving till it bends. Still it feels like I pretend. Keep on driving and driving along the roads and back. It's oh, that. We do. We're going through it. Go slow. You can go around. around. I'm going around. I'm not going in the puddle. Oh Let's Stella go first and then Storm will follow. Oh, look at the frogs! It's just a puddle. Only a puddle. Oh boy! Amazing! I found a pool! <laughs> Forgot though is that the horses walk a whole lot faster than mama does. Keep on driving and driving. Sophie has a grouchy look on her face. It's because that's her concentration face. That's her I'm ready to bail at the first sign of trouble face. Storm just wants to eat the grass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's an art to, to trail riding. Something that you have to perfect, just like jumping, just like western, just like cross country. It's all an art. Especially when you're in a new environment because we don't really know this trail. Um, I asked a friend for advice and she said, have fun and you're the boss. So I suspect she knew the storm would want to eat the grass.
One of the things I learned on our camping trip was park Stella's nose at another horse's butt so that she's forced to slow down, take it easy, and go at a normal, normal pace. Otherwise, she's like, I'm getting done with this, and she tries to race through the whole thing. So it seems to be working really well. Thank goodness for the people who taught us that. You send chills down my spine Said I'm not worthy of your love Well, this is definitely goodbye Oh, it was fun having you around Looking in the rearview mirror My decisions may be clear Back to the bad terrain. I'm actually super proud of the girls because when you're doing something new, especially on a horse, it can be scary. That reminds me of the hill that I went up as a child bareback with somebody else on their horse. Yeah, not gonna happen. Oh my God. Gabby's so brave. What has gotten into her? Oh my God, they're, they're going up there. Our vet actually recommended that we take Stella someplace and ride her on hills. I don't know about it though. All right, this is not my favorite trail. Good job! faster than me that hill did me in oh. but they seem really confident and comfortable and that's what's all and that's all that's important oh. now hopefully I can make it through the rest of this trail we've only been gone for about 15 minutes so hopefully we're on our way home we're on top of the world you guys Right, so we have no idea where we are. I'm hoping that as we descend this mountain that we've just climbed, it'll lead us out of here and back. See if I can show you guys. So, way down there is where we came from. Can you guys tell? Gentle decline. 
That's a lot better than that incline. Oh gosh, I might have spoke too soon. Oh gosh, I spoke too soon. The road's over there, I can hear and see the car, so I know we're going in the right direction. Oh, Stella. Stella's like, I'll do whatever you want as long as you eat, let me eat the, the trees. Nice and slow. Stella's like, I'll go as slow as you want as long as I can eat these bushes, these branches. This is a, have you guys ever done that thing where you're on a diet and then you spend one day eating whatever you want and you call it a treat day or a cheat day? This is Stella's cheat day. He knows what to do. Said I'm not worthy of your love Well this is definitely goodbye Oh it was fun to have you around Trying to duck for all the trees She's running me We're almost home you guys The GoPro. I don't care, I hate We almost had a problem. They had to stop because there's a honeybee and they could bite. So we had to stop so that I could clear the way, get rid of all the honeybees. There's one, there's one honeybee, but at least I saved them. I felt so powerful. I still can save my girls from impending doom of bumblebees. If my tail sounds just like your girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think we're lost. I knew it would happen. I'm not very good at direction. We went that way and then we circled around. And then I thought we were going right back to their to our car because I could see the highway so close to me and that's where we started. But the trail just led us deeper into the woods. So I'm trying not to alert anybody. I'm getting nervous because, yeah, I thought we're lost. Oh, start praying, you guys. Don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.